abiding in the midst of other things when you can't lock away in a secret place and say read your word or pray um, I love that because the kingdom is within you know and uh, he's always there he's always speaking and I love that it's just the smallest shift in our mindset to turn to him and I've noticed he's there and I've learned if you can make that a habit in life a lot less mistakes you'll make as well because you realize man I'm here and throughout the day I'm guided by him I'm following him accurately and you can even draw from his presence like right now he's even was talking as I'm talking to you that's what I love you can do if we learn to there can be crazy chaos going around you people arguing and fighting and you can just check out and be there know what's going on but be pulling from his presence and peace and joy and clarity and hearing his voice and I've noticed too when you do that throughout the day you do you hear his voice so much more because he's always speaking you see it's that small little almost like a radio frequency one channel off and you just make the turn shift to him and it's like clear he starts speaking again you sense his presence encounter and um yes yeah, so abiding is a continual thing you know people think oh wait i have to get back to my prayer closet and i love that you pointed that out because it's a continual day in day out in the works of life pulling from him pulling from his presence listening to his voice pleasing him being thankful and gratitude peace you know his anointing and um, so he has a continual thing but it, it takes practice obviously because if we don't watch it we'll be subtly pulled off into the distractions of this this world you know the cares or where am I going to you know where today what am I going to eat for lunch and simple cares but they can slowly pull you away from his presence and his voice so um, yeah so it's really good